So this is kind of crazy. I literally just got here. And I've happened across a Neva Mermex raid. They're going in these cracks in the steps. You can see it's a Fadoli colony that they're raiding there. They're ganging up on and killing a Fadoli major. There's one coming out with a with a piece of brood. A few of them with brood. I mean, I literally just got here. I haven't even recorded the intro yet. <laughs> and we've got this. But at a different spot, here's another Fadoli colony that's evacuating their nest because of an Eva Mermax raid. Presumably, I can't. I can't say for sure that that's why, but you never see this for any other reason. Check out the size of this chromatogaster colony. All those eggs, there's a couple queens there. I haven't actually seen that many of these Super polygynous chromatiaster colonies. They're more common in northern Arizona, but down here in the Sky Islands, you can find them too. And here they are. They got an ant cricket too. This camp is a creatus colony here. Now, these ones here on Mount Graham are what's called the dark variant. Their oranges are a little darker, and they've got a lot more black on the gaster. Some people like them more, some people like them less. I must admit, I do prefer the light variant, but still some very nice looking ants down there. Just a really pretty polymorpha. Cool. Have a Nylanderia colony here, probably Terracola. These guys had about three queens wandering around, but I don't know where the other two went. Not that I'm going to collect them, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, there's one of them down here. Pretty cool stuff. Got a tarantula. No, no, no burrowing for you. Nice Myrmecocystis colony. Very, very active. It was all over the place. Just found this very large and very angry Formica Ferreliana colony, but maybe you'll see down there that there's a queen. Got some bee fans here, and they're actually killing a termite right now. They're under the same rock as these reticula termites. See, there's a soldier there. But there's a few. Uh, nest chambers of these little thief ants. Looks like we have a founding a phanogaster queen. Man, I really wish I was wearing my GoPro because I just found this Polyurgus topophi colony. Look at that. 
and it's huge. I mean, hundreds of polyurgus workers, thousands of hosts, and guess what? The queen was there. The queen was under this rock, and I lost her. She's somewhere in the leaf litter. She just completely sprinted, dove into the leaf litter. I tried moving it around, could not find her, so hopefully all these hosts can find her. There's tons of formica just swarming. There's a polyurgus worker. But they're swarming all over here. So hopefully they find the queen and can bring her back to the nest there. But yeah, man, I wish I was wearing the GoPro. That was such a fiasco trying to grab the queen and look for her. A big old Campanotus vicinus colony here. They've kind of just left their brood. All the workers ran and just left all this larvae here. You can see them down there and up here. Pretty big uh, ground nesting Campanotus that you get up here at higher elevations. Cool, cool. Some lovely acanthomyops here. Beautiful, beautiful laceus. I betcha, under this, there's going to be Temnothorax regatulus. They nest in these little rock crevices here. Throw my macro lens on, flip this, <laughs> and what do you know? Pretty little... Tenothorax regatulus colony. Looks like just a one queen colony, and she's uh, on the top of the rock right here. And yeah, this is a, a pretty small colony. These guys can get pretty large, and they are polygynous, but it's like this is just a small little one queen colony. So here's something else that's cool about Campanotus vicinus, vicinus. See, like we got a pretty big colony here, got some chambers down there. A lot of the workers have moved already, but it's a two queen colony. It's a, I would consider it to be relatively uncommon for like large Campanotus or really Campanotus in general to be polygynous, but these guys are. Move this and show, yeah. Look at all those ants. Oh, whoa, there's a third queen. Did I get her? Look what I did. Hang on. Oh, is that a fourth? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, well, I was only able to grab one more queen, even though I'm pretty certain that I saw a fourth one. I'm not going to collect these guys. I, I'm considering it, especially because that fourth queen got away, so the colony would be able to persist without those queens, but it's just Vicinus. I mean, they're not, they're nothing special to keep, and while having a three queen colony would be pretty cool, I'm just not going to worry about it. So, going to go ahead here and put this rock back. Give me a second. Okay, now that we have the rock put back in place, go ahead, grab our beautiful three queens here and go ahead and get them back under their rock and into their colony dump out the last workers that were in there and there you go that's something you don't see every day polygynous big sinus colony cool got some lovely liomatopum apiculatum here Very cool, polymorphic, decently sized, aggressive, very, very cool stuff. So these goofy Myrmica <laughs> were just storing their elate larvae directly under the leaf litter, like literally on the surface, only obscured by some pine needles and some oak leaves. I guess uh, that's what happens when you're looking for extra heat to develop.
And they're pretty ants. I like them. You don't see these too, too terribly often out here. So this is something that I was kind of expecting to find out here. Uh, they're kind of hiding because I they're very nocturnal and don't like the light. But I'll wait a, I'll wait a second. But Mergus is in Mexicana, so I'll wait a second and get some more video of them when they come back out. So we're out here hiking around in the middle of the desert, and we got this little cutie. Beautiful, beautiful rattlesnake. Super, super cute. Look at himself, a little ball, ball of snake. This is when you get short. Oh yeah, too. 